Have you ever been somewhere that you love so much and told yourself that you must come back? For me, Siam Reap is that place. We are back in Siam Reap and it really feels good to be back. It really does. So walking down the streets of Siam Reap, all the nostalgia just keeps rushing back man. And I always remember Siam Reap for its rich history and its genuine people, it's so amazing. I just love it so much. So that was my first time vlogging in a cafe. I know I might be overthinking this but suddenly felt like the whole room was staring at me and I'm not gonna lie, it's scary as shit. Whatever it is, we have to head back to a hostel right now. So we have already checked in and had some rest. Right now we're having dinner with some new friends. this? Hi! Oh my god, choking on my head. This room. Hello. Hi, I'm Jeremy. No pain. He believes. My biggest worry coming here is that you know how sometimes you come back to a certain place and the place loses its touch, its charm and I don't want it to happen here because in my head, in my memory is that Cambodia, especially Siam Reap, has been so mind-blowing and I don't want that to change. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Missing. So this temple right here right, is supposed to be filled with water and this is really how dry it is right now in Cambodia. There's nothing there. So actually a lot of stuff are being restored around the Angkor Park. But considering the intention behind the building during the earlier days, actually it's really marvellous how they actually did it. So to me, Cambodia will always remain as one of the world's architectural wonder. Hello. <laughs> so right now we are waiting for a pickup to pick us up to the Siam Rip bus station and then we'll take a bus to Phnom Penh where we'll spend the next five days. Thank you. Thank you. bittersweet for me because especially in Angkor Wat because I've seen everything before and upon reaching Angkor Wat I was more like 
oh I've seen that before instead of like wow so yeah there was no more element of surprise for me I'm not saying that it's not good I was still very impressed by the architecture and how it was built the people were still nice though uh, except for one or two who actually scolded us for not buying from them, buying food from them, buying the stuff from them and they all make it a very bad experience but I think it comes with tourism yeah what remained constant for me was the food it was really cheap and good so yeah I think that's the end of the review see you in Phnom Penh